so confused because I heard a clock and I didn't realize what it was and it was, duh, our clock. Clearly I haven't drank it enough coffee yet. I am Heather Marcigliano from Grace on Broadway. Um, we are finishing our clock that we started last week. So if you were here last week, this was just a dark uh, wood mantle clock that we had around the store. And what we did with it is we added this great roping by Would You Bend um, around the clock face and to kind of um, create interest here and frame it out. Then what I did is I painted the entire thing with sawmill gravy by Dixie Bell. And we let it dry and that's kind of where we're at today. Now today what I want to do is I want to show you guys we're going to use our little bits of leftover transfer. So I have all of these great little bits of leftover rose and rouge by Prima. So all sorts of flowers. So we can put these on here to make it pretty. I also have my Moonshine Metallic and Gold Digger out. I thought that could be pretty. Um, and let's start with that. What I think would be cute is, is stripes going around the side. So I tape stripes. I don't freehand them. It is a thin clock, so I don't want to do super thick stripes or we're going to have literally a stripe. I mean, I guess we could do two if we put the tape right down the center, but um, kind of want something a little bigger than that. So I'm going to tape my first one here. So what I did is I ripped off a piece that just kind of went to both sides to help it spacing. I have yet to have anyone come to a piece of my furniture with a level and go, oh my goodness, this line is off by a smidge. So as long as it is good enough. Perfection is amazing, but will drive you crazy trying to accomplish it every single time. Okay. So I got a paper towel. Got my gold digger. So this is my premium chip brush by Dixie Belle. I use these all the time um, when I'm doing like accent work. I think they work amazing. So I'm gonna put some of my gold digger right on my premium chip brush. I'm actually gonna kind of take some off and then I'm just gonna go. As you guys can see, I just kind of stopped and it, it didn't make any sense or rhyme or reason to where I stopped. When I was kind of dabbing and doing my line, I just kind of stopped them in random places and they're not super crisp at the bottom. I don't know why I did it that way, that's just what I felt like doing. I'm going to leave this sit. This is the side that I just did. And now we can do some of the gold on the front. I'm going to try to turn a little bit so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to switch to an art brush. I almost kicked my coffee over. That would have been tragic. My coffee means a lot to me in the morning. <laughs> Alright, so instead of using gilding wax, I want to keep the color consistent. So I'm just going to actually use this still gold digger. I'm going to use my cute little art brush. Doing a little bit and then wiping it back. Because I don't want it to be like crazy gold. Okay, so 
that's our smidge of gold digger. I think it's super cute. But you know what? As I was doing that, I accidentally got just a little bit on this corner and I like it. So I think um, this is our brush that we were using for this. It still has a little bit left on it. So it's almost like a dry brush. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of like whisk these corners. So I'm not going crazy. I'm not even putting a ton of pressure. I'm just going in the general direction that I want my little wispies. Because I think they're cute. I think they're a cute transition moment. I hope they're cute because I'm doing them upside down for the they're sake cute. of the camera. So they're cute. You guys are seeing stuff way before me. And you're seeing it right side up. <laughs> yeah, they're cute. I think this one needs just a smidge more. Uh-oh. Got a little carried away, so we're going to stop. <laughs> and now our gold here is already dry. So our timing really worked out perfect. So I'm going to go back and just do a quick second coat. Now we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with the first piece of tape just because it was the first one we painted, so. So, we have our striping. All set. Now we get to pick what our layering transfer is going to be for over here. I think I want to use these like blue flowers. So like, they're like periwinkle bluey. Because blue is super awesome right now. And I think if someone had like, I know it's like a purpley blue. It's not 100% blue, but it's in the family. Okay. So. That'll be cute. I'm a fan of that. So now I cut out my transfer to how I wanted it cut. We don't have to use the whole pattern the way it is, which is why I have a whole bunch of transfers that I just kind of have holes cut out of and stuff like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the wax paper portion. We're gonna get rid of it off in the garbage pile. I'm now holding it by like the corner that has no transfer to it. We're gonna put it where we want it. And I want it there. Now I'm gonna rub the transfer down till it's on all the parts that we want. So we just went around that curve, so we're gonna hold it there. I have my redesign with by Prima transfer tool and we are gonna rub this on. A lot of times when people are saying that they have problems with transfers or problems with top coats, this is the part that was the problem. You really have to get this on there good. As you can see, I'm doing this first because it's it's easier when there's just a tiny bit and there's different um, kind of layers to a piece. Right, we have the straight part, now we have the curved part, and these are smaller than this piece. And this piece is on pretty good. So while I have the wax paper on, I'm just really burnishing it as best I can. Okay, that's super cute. Okay, now I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna go back over it, right? Because we really don't want any air bubbles if there are any. 
We really just want to make sure that all points of contact have been done well. Look how cute. That's cute. That is cute. I'm a fan. But I think maybe like, maybe something else. Oh look, these little guys are cute. Let's add them somewhere. This is what I do. I cut apart all of my transfers. I think I've done very few pieces where I've actually left them the way I got them. layered so far. Now the front. That is pretty. And now we just need to well, we'll clean that up. And we'll put something over here. So as you can see, like that's kind of crazy, but who's gonna care? We're gonna cover it. We did the blue on this side. So we're gonna do it again over here. Doesn't need to be a perfect duplicate of either side. We're looking more for sisters, not identical twins. This flower already has a straight edge and we have this like weird void here. So I'm going to plunk this flower. I'm gonna add a leaf and I think we're out of time so but I think we just snuck it into done the only thing I have left to do is I'm gonna clean up the clock face you know what I don't even know if I would stick it needs it well maybe we can go this way with the leaf that could be cute and different I'm gonna add a quick leaf and then I'm gonna show you the whole thing off camera, I'm gonna clean the clock face because when I painted it, I didn't care what I did and I got some paint on it. And then I'm gonna take pictures and I will post them. But I'm gonna show you guys here in literally 30 seconds. Okay, so here's this side that we just did. I think it's super cute. Here's the front. Oh, it's stuck under right there. It has legs. Super fun. I'm going to clean this up. And here's this side. So that is our super cute clock that started off super boring. So thank you guys for being with me today. Um, I hope you guys are getting ready for the holidays. I hope you have great holidays. I will be here next Tuesday. Um, it'll be Christmas Eve. And maybe we'll do some sort of Christmas project or something cute. Um, but I'll see you guys then. Thanks for being with me. Bye.